Today, I want you to come alongside me as we milk the cow and make something really delicious. This is how every day starts here on the farm. It's such a beautiful time of year and it feels like everything is in bounty, including milk. One of the things I really love about farming is how agriculture around the world is so different and yet somehow unites everybody together because we all have to eat. I originally learned to make this recipe that we're going to make today in Sicily and it was made with a sheep's milk ricotta. We raise our sheep for meat and not for milk. So my ricotta that I make is from my cow Cece. I would like to thank Maiden for sponsoring today's video. Maiden partners with the best raw material providers and multi-generational family-owned manufacturers to build superior kitchen products. Their kitchenware is used in Michelin star restaurants all over the world, and it has received over 100,000 five-star reviews. Today, I'm gonna to be highlighting Maiden's enameled cast iron collection using the Dutch oven to make ricotta cheese. You can use the link in my description for 10% off your first purchase of $100 or more. These cast iron Dutch ovens alone have received over 10,000 five-star reviews from customers. They're crafted in Northwest France in a factory that has been producing cast iron since the 1920s. They can hold five and a half quarts and can go from the stovetop to the oven up to 580 degrees. It's offered at an exceptional price range and quality compared to heritage brands out there. Use the link below the video for 10% off your first purchase of $100 or more. The first step in making my friend Melissa Muller's ricotta donuts, the ones she served to me in Sicily a few months ago, is making ricotta. Now I'm going to be making a quick ricotta. This is not a true ricotta, which actually means to recook. Typically ricotta is made by making cheese and then taking the whey, getting it really hot, and the leftover milk particles will separate and you'll get ricotta. I'm going to do a speedy version, which just involves heating the milk to 180 degrees and adding a cup of white vinegar. This will separate some of the milk solids away after just stirring it and letting it sit for 10 minutes. We get asked a lot what we do with all of Cece's milk, but between the ricotta, the mozzarella, the butter, the raw milk, the yogurt, the buttermilk, we use it. Now, the longer you let this ricotta strain, the more solid it will become. I want my quick donuts to be really light and fluffy, so I'm going to head straight away to mixing the dough, which is just flour, a little bit of maple sugar, baking powder, salt, vanilla, ricotta, and eggs. If you'd like the exact recipe, I'm gonna put a link below the video to our newsletter and you can check it out in the archives there. Now this is not my recipe. 
Like I mentioned, my friend Melissa served these donuts to us after we'd had a huge plate of pasta at her home in Sicily, and I thought, how could I possibly eat a donut right now? But because of the ricotta and the egg, they're so simple. They come together in just a few minutes, and they're so light and fluffy and packed with protein. They're just everything I love in a baked good. Although technically, I suppose we're going to fry them and not bake them. Still delicious. I'm going to be frying my donuts in tallow. This is my favorite fat for frying foods. It is very good for you and a very wonderful fat. I'm going to get it up to 375 degrees before dropping the donuts in. It's funny, since we came back from Sicily, I have probably made these donuts two dozen times. And it takes a lot when you think about it for a new recipe to actually come into the fold of your family repertoire, something that you actually just make all the time. Many of us are trying new recipes all the time and looking for new inspiration here and there, but just to have a recipe that kind of becomes a part of your family's story is really impactful. It's one of the things I love about traveling. I've never come back the same person. There are these little moments, like this moment in Sicily of just being fed a simple donut that actually change the story of your family. Because now when my children think about the special things that I made them on a Saturday morning, they're gonna think of these donuts.